So today we are going to talk about the number systems. Okay. So let's first understand how do we define a number or what is a number. I say number is a ordered collection of symbols. Ordered collection of symbols. Okay. Why is it ordered collection? It is ordered collection because 123 is different from 231. Okay. These are different. Okay. Therefore, the order is important. Right. A number has basically two parts. It has an integral part and it has a fractional part okay so obviously we know what it is if I say 123.56 then 123 is known as the integral part everything that comes before this this is called as a radix point okay So everything that comes before the radix point is part of the integral part of the number and everything that comes after the radix point is part of the fractional part of the number. So now that we have defined what number is, let's understand what do we mean by a number system. Okay. I say number system is something that allows me to specify the allowed symbols, okay? So let's understand what do we mean by allowed symbols. Allowed symbol means the number of symbols that we can use to form a number. For example, in our day to day life we use decimal number system, okay? And decimal number system has 10 allowed symbols, okay? So what are these 10 allowed symbols? These are 0, 2, 9, okay? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are symbols okay which we use to form a digit oh sorry to form a number a symbol in a number system is called as a digit okay what is a digit digit is a symbol in a number system okay so we used 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 which are symbols to form a number. Okay. So that was the interpretation of allowed symbols by specifying number system. Okay. And the number of allowed symbols is known as the base of the number system base of number system is the number of allowed symbols number of allowed symbols okay our decimal system has 10 allowed symbols therefore it is having a des base of 10 okay I'll just take this circle off and I'll just write it as base equal to 10 for decimal number system so let's look at a general number from any given number system okay of base k a number from number system of base k okay 
So my number would be something like this. It is going to have the first digit, second digit, third digit, okay, so on. It's going to have, let's say, dn minus 2 and dn minus 1. So how many digits do we have right now? We have digits from 0. Let's use a different color. We have digits from 0 to n minus 1, which is n digits. Okay. Right. And then we have a radix point and we have the fractional part. Let's call it as d minus 1, d minus 2, d minus 3 up to d minus m. So how many digits we have in the fractional part? We have 1 to m which is m digits in my fractional part. Now this is a number in the given number system of base k. Okay. Now let's understand what would be the equivalent value of this number in base k in decimal number system. Okay. So the equivalent value in decimal number system of this number is equivalent decimal value okay is equal to it is going to be since we are having a base k we are going to use k as the weight so what do we mean by the weight weight is the multiplication factor okay so what I have here is, I'm going to say this number is equivalent to d0 into k raised to 0 plus d1 into k raised to 1 plus d2 into k raised to 2 plus d3 into k raised to 3 okay i'm going to do this add these products up till what do we have d n minus 2 into k raised to n minus 2 plus d n minus 1 into k raised to n minus 1 up till this point this is the equivalent integral value of this number in decimal number system okay after this let's see what is the equivalent fractional value the equivalent fractional value is I'm going to just write plus with a different symbol so that you're able to distinguish between the fractional and integral value my fractional value would be d raised to d minus 1 into k raised to minus 1 plus d minus 2 into k raised to minus 2 we do this until we reach d minus m into k raised to minus m okay so this is my equivalent decimal value okay this is similar to tens, hundreds and thousands concept that we have learned in our school. Okay. So if I have a value like 123.56, how do we represent it? It is basically this 1 into 100 plus 2 into 10 plus 3 into 1 plus 5 into 0 0.1 plus 6 into 0 0.01 right 
this is 100 plus 20 plus 3 which is equal to 123 plus 0.5 plus 0 0.06 which is 0.56 okay if you look closer to this expression you're going to realize that this is same as 1 into 10 raised to 2 plus 2 into 10 raised to 1 plus 3 into 10 raised to 0 anything raised to 0 is 1 okay plus 5 into 10 raised to minus 1 plus 6 into 10 raised to minus 2 okay so if I express this using index this is the first index second index third index then the minus 1 and minus 2 similar to what we have done over here 0 1 2 3 okay this is 3 I think I have written it as 4 this is 3 okay 0 1 2 3 in this direction and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 in this direction okay so this is my equivalent decimal value so why did I multiply this using weights as 10 I did this because I said that 1 2 3 point 5 6 is a number system in base 10 okay how do we specify the base of a number system we specify it like this I say 123.56 and within brackets I specify the base 10 okay so this represents a number in base 10 okay had I done something like this 123.56 then this would be a different number okay this would be a number in base 8 okay and its value 2 would be different so 123.56 in a number system of base 8 would be 1 into 8 raised to 2 plus 2 into 8 raised to 1 plus 3 into 8 raised to 0 plus 5 into 8 raised to minus 1 plus 6 into 8 raised to minus 2 okay so this is going to be 64 plus 16 plus 3 plus 5 by 8 plus 6 by 64 obviously this value is going to be different from 123.56 that we got when this number was in decimal number system so this is not equal to 123.56 okay let me tell you one more thing over here in this kind of representation we call this number as most significant digit okay the number in the extreme left is known as the most significant digit and the number in the extreme right okay is called as the least significant digit okay we are talking only about the integral part of the number Okay.